This was the moment earlier this evening when Kristina Timonovskaya stepped onto Polish soil. Safe from the Belarusian officials, she says were forcing her to leave Tokyo against her will. Ms. Timonovskaya was spotted at Tokyo's Haneda airport, about to board a flight to Istanbul. But it's very clear she didn't want to go. For me, it will be really dangerous to go to the state of The Belarusian team says that claim is nonsense, that she was being sent home because of her emotional and psychological state. But the Polish government has decided to believe her story and to offer refuge. What's going on here in Tokyo has very much the whiff of history about it, because back in the days of the Cold War, Olympic defections were a regular event. The last one I can find was in Los Angeles in 1984. Now we have someone defecting from Belarus, a country that's been described as the last dictatorship in Europe. And she's going to Poland, a country that was once part of the Soviet bloc and is now very much the opposite. <laughs> Last year, Belarus was rocked by huge protests, demanding an end to the 27-year rule of Alexander Lukashenko. Poland was a vocal supporter of these protests, and it's clear today's offer of refuge to Ms. Timonovskaya fits in with Warsaw's support for the opposition. Every person who cannot return to Belarus for political reasons and wants to come to Poland can count on our support, the Deputy Foreign Minister says. Ms. Timnovskaya is under the care of the Polish state. She wants to come to Poland. We will grant her all support. Back in Japan, there is relief this drama has been resolved so quickly. But with six more days till the Olympics close, Tokyo must be a little worried that other athletes could be tempted to follow Ms. Timonovskaya's lead. Rupert Wingfield-Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.